Hello YouTube, today I am going to be embellishing my pistol stabilizer fin. I'm going to be doing a custom build on a pink and black AR-15 rifle. And this is the beautiful magenta color that I'm going to have it painted. Here's a, a little bit of footage of my husband painting this for me. And it's very, very beautiful. Pink is my favorite color. This is how it turned out after it dried and cured for a few days. This lovely magenta spray paint can be purchased at your local Walmart. We got it from Home Depot. No more than $5. I purchased online from eBay some magenta fuchsia type color rhinestones. These are non-hot fix and these fuchsia ones are actually Swarovski. So you see I just got a little bag of those Swarovskis. They were $7. They're pretty expensive. And the non-hot fix rhinestones were about 12 bucks and they are pretty close. But I noticed that the Swarovski rhinestones were pretty much exact, but they're very expensive, so I just wanted to add a hint of them there. You will need E6000 glue, which is what I mainly use whenever I'm doing any type of embellishments. It always works for me. This is my first time using the E6000 with that little nozzle on the end of it. It worked perfect for this project because I had to get in some small, little tight spaces. You will need some type of pick-me-up stick. This is just a regular mechanical pencil. And as you can see, I just added some glue there. And now I'm applying the stones. And you'll just repeat this process and just take a look at how I add the rhinestones to this fin, just to give it a little sparkle, just to make it different. I purchased an upper off Bear Creek Arsenal. Um, Oh, maybe I can enter the link or something on the website, but I don't have a picture of that here because I have I'll I'll reveal that in later videos. But the whole point of me painting and embellishing this is to match the upper. The upper is sig pink, and this magenta happens to be extremely close. It's not perfect, but it's very very close, and I'm happy with the how close it is. You'll, you'll just have to see. So you'll want to stay tuned to see how the full build comes together. But just take your time adding the rhinestones as closely and tightly as you can so it looks as neat as possible you guys so just just keep on looking at what i'm doing and you'll see how the rest of it comes together Okay, I just want to correct myself. I said these are non-hot fix rhinestones. These are actually hot fix rhinestones. That's why they're black on the back of them. That's actually glue. If you want to add them onto, uh, for example, a t-shirt or something of that nature, you put it under a heat press or an iron and it could also stick to a shirt. But they're also, they also can be used to embellish things as well but they are a better quality and shinier quality rhinestones than the ones I usually use on shoes. I just wanted them to be a little extra special for this, um, this project. I also wanna say the whole point also of spray painting and making the other accessories match the upper barrel that I purchased is because um, the barrel came Cerakoted Sig Pink but if you have Cerakoted, other items Cerakoted to match your firearm, it's usually pretty expensive. So to just have to spend about 10 bucks on two cans of paint to match it really well, 
is a huge plus if you do your research. I was trying to do some research and it was like almost about $150. And I had to send in my own pieces and that was just for a few pieces on the gun and the fin. The sites that I came across were very expensive. So why not do it yourself if you can? So that's the whole point if you don't understand why it's spray painted and, and, and not purchase with the upper. So again, the, the sizes that I have here are SS10, which is three millimeter, and then SS8, which is probably 2.5 millimeter or something like that. See how when I get down to the nitty gritty, it pays to have two different sizes so you can fill in those little small, teeny tiny areas. And the size I chose, I'm glad I did. It worked out perfect. I mainly use three millimeter anyway. But if you just look at these little areas I had to get into, it just really helped having this size rhinestone. I, I wouldn't have went any bigger for something like this. So if you do plan on doing this project as well yourself, you definitely want to go with a SS6 or SS8 or an SS10. I wouldn't go any bigger than that to get in these little small corner areas, especially this area right here. You see how the rhinestone fits basically perfectly in that little area. This is another area where the rhinestones that I have fit perfect in this little stripped, striped area here. And I actually wasn't gonna do this part because I thought it was gonna be too difficult to get in between these little lines here. I'm glad I did because I feel like it really set the whole pistol stabilizer fin, such a long word. I feel like it really set off the whole look. I just really like how they just fit so neatly and tight in there. Thank you. 
It's really coming together very nicely and see this little slot right there I just pointed to I'm gonna go ahead and add some stones inside that little indented area as well I wanted to make sure there was no areas that I left untouched on here I just wanted to make it as complete as possible I didn't want anything on here to look incomplete Now that little area, I don't know if you saw me just point to it, that's the final area right here where I'm going to add some rhinestones and it's almost finished. Okay, and here we have the final finished results. I think it looks incredible. I, I really, really, really like it. I can't wait to put everything together. I also have a video coming of me customizing the magazine that goes to the pistol and also uh, my hand grip. Again, just to remind you, this is how it looked before I added any rhinestones. This is everything you'll need to complete this project. This is the color of the paint you will need and the brand I use, Rust-Oleum Magenta. And this is how it looked before anything happened to it. This is how it looks halfway through and I'm glad I decided to keep going because it looks very nice, very detailed with all of it filled in in between those little small spaces. If you're into this type of thing, the bling and the rhinestones, I hope I did offer some type of inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.